On the night of September 16th, the population of Hawaii Island received a worrisome message that echoed through their mobile devices, an Amber Alert, one detailing the disappearance of a young girl, Michaela Dabina. Uh, so I was in the Waikia gym watching and photographing the girls volleyball game that was happening that night. Um, and uh, it was like loud and then it kind of went quiet. It quieted down a little bit and I saw everybody looking around um, on their phones. So I checked mine and then uh, I saw the Amber Alert and I was like kind of in shock because we've never had one of them before. I got the Amber Alert, read it, and then, oh dear God. <laughs> I was kind of just shaking. I was like, is this real? Is, is this, am, am I imagining things again? On the day after, Saturday the 17th, another alert sounded announcing the identity of the kidnapper. Two hours later, he was in custody and Michaela was safe and sound with her family. The day after um, Saturday, I was gonna go down to get food downtown and then right before I was about to leave the house, I got the, another alert saying that she was like found or spotted by Cafe Pesto. So I like was like, maybe not go downtown today and just stay inside, especially cause I was by myself. Sadly, uh, when I was younger, like uh, around middle preschool maybe, I forget. Um, one of my first best friends got, you know, snatched off of her house. And after they found her, she had to move away. And that kind of, that doesn't really positively impact you, especially when it was your best friend at a young age. And being female presenting at a young age, you're told, oh, you gotta be careful for, for guys, for yourself, for your siblings. And it's kind of, it's kind of messed up that you have to defend yourself in a world that you think, oh, this should be fine, but it's not. Although the case was resolved quickly through the help of the community and the HPD, it is still of vital importance to take safety as a priority. Um, I have my location shared with multiple people. Um, when I walk, I kind of always walk with like my phone out too. Here's some advice from a woman. It's, it's sad that I have to know this, but um, Always have a companion with you, someone you trust, someone either an adult or like someone definitely intimidating. Always have some sort of protection, either defensive, self-defense, a pepper spray or something. Something that can, even just screaming can help. Don't look back. If you think some, if you get weird vibes or whatever, don't stop running. Don't stop walking. Just keep going. Don't look back. Get to a safe spot or something until that vibe goes away. Remember to stay safe, Vikings. Tell people where you're going, take a friend, or any of the previously mentioned methods. Let's stay safe. This is Aaron Wagner, reporting from KVX Media.